Hey everybody, this is the solution to an exercise in the Python bootcamp. And in this little video, I'll walk you through uh, my solution. And um, you, um, uh, what, what you need to do in this exercise generally is, is combining the learnings of um, the entire tutorial. So let's start with the first thing to create an array holding 10 subreddit names of your choice, right? Remember in Python, we can create variables uh, by just uh, assigning a variable name and Aries that is a collection of multiple values, they um, start with a square bracket. So um, let's just uh, make up some random things. And ex actually, um, I will not uh, use 10. I'll just like, I don't know, search the side, root click, okay, sports, tennis, climbing, and you can have more in uh, your actual solution, just like um, as an example. So um, these are subreddit names, make it 10 in the solution. Then write a function that returns as a dictionary the following data points from the about page of a subreddit. All right, so what you need to do in programming is you always need to have like a code snippet to get inspired. And um, in here, we need to get some data from, from Reddit. And uh, I think this is some kind of function um, that we've written and I just copy paste it um, over to my uh, notebook. So write a function that returns as a dictionary the following data points from the about page of a subreddit. Um, so I'm breaking it down here, but I have it here as inspiration. Okay, but I'll explain you how I get here. So um, let me create a new cell, move this here and then start prototyping, right? So when we make a request to an API, we always need to have a URL and um, a function that makes this request, like requests.get. If you just use requests.get URL, and let me uh, paste also the headers here to make sure we're not being blocked. Headers is something like telling the API who we are, right? I think that's it, right? So let me just do it. Um, oh, separate it. It's, it's subreddits. Um, let me just in prototyping, just take the first element here just for prototyping. So this subreddit will be skateboarding. And what I forgot is also to import the requests library. So I'm adding it on top. So if I run this now, I get just a response, meaning the success, uh, the, 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 the call has been successful but I don't get any data back yet. So by typing text, for example, behind the requests, I would get the object as a textual representation that already looks a little bit of what we want, but we want to make it queryable, searchable. So instead of this, we're using the .json function. I think it's um, with um, brackets and so now it's structured. I'm saving this to a new variable. I call this variable content, and then I can query this variable. So for example, content, and then the first node is data. And I would only get the data in there. And now I can query it further. Another square bracket, title, for example, right? Let me print the URL as well and paste it afterwards into my browser. And here I can actually look at the data. So we're in the data node and then um, the title. But I think we need to find other stuff here, right? Oh, it's already given. Display name, title, subscribers, right? Okay. So display name, title we got. Display name. Display name and subscribers, right? And you can pick others if you want to as well. They're all here, right? Try to make sense by comparing the output of the API with um, the website of Reddit. So we got this, but we need to return as a dictionary, a function, right? A function, but also return as a dictionary, these data points. So let's first turn this into a dictionary. So remember that dictionaries start with a curly bracket and they always have named attribute value pairs. This is the attribute name and this is the value, right? Or attribute two, which is a string value, All right? See. So we can wrap this into a return object by calling a display name, 
is display name title equals uh, not equals title colon content data comma and subscribers is this closing it now it's a thing right now it has become a dictionary so this is my result let's just make this a new variable now the thing was we also make, need to make a function from this so we could wrap this all in a function def get data from a particular subreddit development colon and we need to indent it otherwise python doesn't get that what follows is part of the function so we're building the url assembled with a subreddit get the content save the result and as a last step we return the result to the main process right nothing happens when you run this just because it's just loading the function we're not using the function but now when you use the function for example on the tennis subreddit you will get the tennis data see so now the function is ready oh and the date of creation created sorry for that um timestamp let's call this timestamp which is content data created i guess yes there you go write a loop to retrieve the data for the 10 subreddits that's actually super easy right so for a subreddit in subreddits get data and one of the most common mistakes is that you put it in quotation marks but then it gets the data for the subreddit called subreddit, which we don't want. We want the name to be inserted here. So at the first iteration, see what happens. It's for skateboarding, then climbing, then tennis. So right now we got the data, right? But nothing came to our screen because we need to write a loop to retrieve data and store the data in new line separated JSON files. Okay, so remember JSON objects, they're queryable. So for example, um, our previous result, I don't know whether that's a memory. Yeah, there you go, right? You can query it like this, display name, and, and you, you get that information. Alternatively, use the get function to display name, right? Um, but you can't store that format yet. So there is a package called JSON, and using the JSON dumps function on this result object, will convert this back into a string, like a character string, which we can write to a file. Okay, So um, we can replace this and add the JSON dumps function to, um, to do this. So when you're running this now, you see the JSON objects. Well, you actually don't see it. The print function, you would see it. You see the JSON objects being stored in a textual format. Now, instead of storing it as a text, we can also write it to a file. So one of those things that we have here is a code snippet, how to store information. Exercise 3.7, I think, in this notebook. So we can just copy this and put it in the right order. So we're opening a file called my data JSON for writing. And at each iteration, we're writing this to the file. To start a new line, we are also writing a new line character. And at the very end of this exercise, we're closing the file. Let me see whether this is complete. I think that looks complete. All right, and if we're not checking for, um, oops, let me see where that information got stored. All right. So let me run this again. And I think we now have the data called my data.json. And you see it has been created as three JSON objects in this case, which are separated by a new line character. All right, let me find my notebook again. All right, so let me clean up my stuff, get rid about everything that I've done that is not good, which is good practice, right? So you wanna 
submit clean notebooks, for example, if you do it for grading. Um, so this is the exercise. Let me add another markdown layer saying this is the solution. And um, let me add some comments. Let me put the JSON package up there too, so I can use it. I can get rid of this. Let me say this is a function to retrieve some data from Reddit. And this is write data. This is loop through all subreddits. Close data. Okay. Very important to test this. I'm restarting um, the kernel and then run all of my cells top to down to verify that everything will be eventually executed in the correct order. So here we go. Let me check again this file with the output and here it is. Um, let's give it a good name. This is exercise 3.9. And um, that is the solution. So I hope you find it useful. Thanks uh, for watching.